on to a later time. Let's do <laughs> middle school. So I went to two different middle schools. For the first middle school, I was there for two years. The one thing I did really like about this school is they were very into school spirit, so they did a lot of fun activities for us. So this wasn't really fun, but I did enjoy it. Honestly, no, I enjoyed this stupid thing. I think it was called the turkey run and then the reindeer run. How did I remember that? I don't know. The turkey run. I This was my, oh my, my sixth grade year. This is a story. <laughs> Sixth grade year, uh, they were announcing the turkey run. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I can like jog around my entire school with my friends. It'd be so much fun. No, because you actually have to run. I think this was also for them to like get us unactive kids running, you know, because we don't really do much. I can't remember if the three different grade levels did the run at like a different class period, but I'm pretty sure we all did it together because what's the point? Yeah, we all did it together. When I'm, I'm stupid. It was right before Thanksgiving break. Sixth grade year, I had a huge crush on this seventh grader, and he was a cutie pie. Uh, I liked him like all of my sixth grade year, and uh, we had each other in art class. And um, let's hope he doesn't find out about this video, but it doesn't matter now because I don't even know his social media. I don't even talk to him, so. We've never been friends. I had a huge crush on him, and he still didn't know I existed that entire year, so. I mean, he slowly started acknowledging me, but I was very socially awkward, so I probably scared him away, but it's okay. We were missing art class, and I was devastated. I wanted to see him, and what do you know? We do the turkey run. I think someone pushed me. I don't remember this, uh, but I fell smack dab onto the sidewalk, and I scratched up my entire knee, and I was like, eh, this is so embarrassing. I fell. I go to my art teacher, who's in there, Seventh grade boys in there. He's like, oh, that looks bad. Ugh. Hope you're okay. And he talks to me just a little bit. Uh, and then the art teacher gets me a band aid. I don't know if he got me a band aid or if the art teacher did. I think I would have remembered if he got me a band aid. That's that story. Seventh grade year, tried out for volleyball, embarrassed myself. Yeah, I don't really remember any other embarrassing things I did in middle school until track season. I felt like a true track star because I was awful. I don't know how my coach actually put me in any running stuff. I still remember my very first run. I went really fast and then I slowed down because you're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. So I had no energy when it came around to the second. I mean to the first. The, mm, I did the four by four. Okay. So my legs were numb whenever I fell to the ground. Yeah. Now on to high school. <laughs> Freshman year, I was too scared to do anything. I wanted to do soccer freshman year, but I was too scared because I'm awful. Uh, and I thought about tennis, like me and my friend were gonna go try out for tennis, but she had dance, because she's talented. So um, I didn't want to go to the tryouts by myself. So I didn't do that. Freshman year was a no-go year for me. But if you did watch my high school crush story, one of my crushes uh, played soccer and he inspired me to play soccer. Uh, so I actually tried out for soccer my sophomore year and somehow I made it. I mean JV, they just anyone that's like left over that didn't make varsity makes JV because we always need like girls. So I made JV soccer. I was so excited. I was like, wow, I'm gonna play soccer now. Issue, um, I'm terrible. So yeah, this was when I realized sports were not for me <laughs> at all. Like I can't even like make myself do them. When our games would happen, I would be extremely nervous that my coach would actually put me in the game. I hated that. Like I did not want to get chosen to be put in the game. What person tries out for sport and doesn't want to actually play the sport when it comes down to competing? That's the whole point. Like, I literally don't understand myself. I have no logic and I'm still like this now. Well, we'll get to my present story that happened to me like two weeks ago. I kind of got a little sidetracked in this story time of how I'm not a student athlete because I kind of talked about other things rather than reasons of why I'm not a student athlete. So here's on to reason number three, probably because I didn't talk much about actually what I'm here for. So my sophomore year, uh, you know, soccer season, awesome stuff. We had a match one day 
me and my best friend at the time, we played soccer together. We both had boys, okay, you know, one of them could drive, mine couldn't because we were 15. Her boy was like, okay, I'll drive you guys to the game. And I was like, oh my God, that's so much fun. My, my boy can like watch me play soccer even though I'm not actually gonna play. So, <laughs> I take us to the game. I don't wanna leave him because I would much rather spend my time with my honey boo boo than sit on a bench being miserable because I don't want to play. Why did I play soccer? Oh my god. And this was an easy team that we were playing against, like they sucked. When I get there, um, one, we're like five, ten minutes late and our team is just warming up right now. Like we're not even starting, we're not, like we're ten minutes away from starting. So we get there and first off, the varsity coach is upset with us about that. And he kind of looks mad at me and I don't think he likes me very much because I'm not athletic so and he can see that and that I don't push myself to try harder because soccer is so important to me. Uh -huh. uh, I sit on the bench and I like didn't know that the varsity coach had such an issue over phones on the bench. Ever since this experience, I was terrified to be around him. Not really terrified, I was kind of like uncomfortable to be around him because I didn't want to get like yelled at. I warm up, I do this whole shenanigan that we do, and then I go sit down and I start hearing like the Snapchat ringing sound coming from like the bench and I'm like, who the heck is calling? Uh, my boy and my friend's boy. They're on the bleachers right behind our bench so my coach can see who I'm like looking at. So basically, my, the phone's ringing. So I go over to my phone and it's ringing and it says, Honey Boo Boo is calling. It doesn't actually say that, but you know. What the heck, why is he calling me? So like I kind of felt in my gut feeling like don't answer, ignore it, but I'm 15, I'm an idiot. So uh, I answer and I'm like, ah, why are you calling me? And I'm sitting on the bench and I'm looking back right at him and I'm loud. First off, my voice is very loud without me meaning to, so I'm probably acting really obnoxious right now. Um, it's really sad that this was literally like... No, yeah, this was almost two years ago, so... Oh my god. Anyway, so I don't know why he called me. He just wanted to talk to me. He was like, I just couldn't feel like talking to you, you know, because you're just sitting there. And and then I hear, I don't remember the exact words from the varsity coach. Would you much rather go sit up there with your boyfriend or come watch and support your teammates? Oh, I got it. I put the phone down. I'm like, sorry, it's calling me. No phones. And then I watched the game and then I didn't look back for a good 30 minutes because now we actually started playing and I was watching my friends and they were doing really good and I was cheering them on and I'm like, okay, coach isn't looking at me looking, so let me go check on my honey boo. I look back, they're both gone. I was like, where the hell did our honey boo boos go? I was so like, like, where'd they go? But then I realized, what do you know? They went to the car because, um, they didn't pay for the game because we threw, they went through a different area than us. Uh, they didn't want to pay for our game. We had such amazing dudes. Uh, so they like snuck in to the game, even though it's like stupid. And I guess people were like, oh, those two boys didn't pay. So like they made them leave. Yeah we were dating criminals. But sophomore year, I did try out for tennis and I somehow made it because they had a JV team. But I made it this year too and they didn't have a JV team but I did not play because I'm terrible. With tennis, I'm really not as bad as I make myself sound. I make myself sound worse than I am because I'm really like not that bad. If I had more confidence, I would actually progress but with sports, I'm not confident in myself because <laughs> Going back to soccer, so it's this year, this school year, and I'm like, oh yeah, I wanna try it for soccer again, that was fun, I wanna get better at it, even though I literally hated playing. But you know, it's junior year, still a little stupid. <laughs> anyway, so me and my best friend now, we have a different best friend. This is one of my best friends from like middle school, and we kinda like patched up our friendship 
over like the ending of our sophomore years so we were like super close and she played soccer when she was little so we were like oh my god this is gonna be so much fun let's play soccer so we both tried out and we're juniors so we're like okay we're probably not gonna make varsity but JV is still fun we get to tryouts this year we have like a new varsity coach and she is scary me and my friend we went to the conditioning okay we went to the conditioning we went to a, a good like three weeks of conditioning and we get to the tryouts we're both doing awkwardly okay like we're both just not doing good but I was giving the same effort last year and I still made it so like I wasn't really worried but this year there were a lot of girls last year there was like enough for two teams when this year there was like too many a lot of the other girls weren't doing that good either I mean they're just maybe showing more effort than me and my best friend but they were still the same equal shittiness as me and my best friend we both go to the two-day tryouts and then you know the team numbers come out like you know whoever made it because we were given numbers obviously that's what happens at tryouts so I go check the paper of who made JV every single girl that was on JV last year made it except me this just shows how I wasn't liked and how one I'm not needed first off um, we didn't make JV uh, which I was honestly relieved. I kind of was just pushing myself to do soccer just to do something um, But I never like actually enjoyed it myself because I'm bad at it and it made me kind of feel bad about myself I don't have one competitive bone in my body. Like I just hate the feeling of being competitive I just it stresses me out. So I don't like it uh, tennis. I played a single I mean a doubles match last year and uh, We lost but it was like a very close you know Anyway, so this year uh, I didn't play at all and I was, you know, happy about that. I do like to just stand around and promote the girls tennis team in my uniform, but I don't actually like to physically play because then I kind of ruin the illusion of me possibly being a good player. My coach, this was literally like three weeks ago. Also, one thing you must have noticed by now is when I say literally, I say literally, yeah, it's a good time. So my coach comes up to me and he's like, you haven't played at all this year, right? And I'm like, no. He's like, okay, you're playing a singles match in five minutes. I'm like, what? I literally like fell to the floor. I was holding on to like the freaking whatever net, not net, the little fence. And I started tearing up because of how nervous I was. But the game didn't turn out that bad. I did lose the entire thing, but that was just because I wasn't confident. And also I was playing against a really good old friend pal that I've had over social media. Uh, and she's really sweet, so I felt very comfortable and I didn't feel like trying my hardest. <laughs>